you look at yourself in the mirror when you're high, and like, there's no more perfect being. Camille, are you high right now? <laughs> <laughs> Could we vape during this? <laughs> so I literally was McLovin for an entire afternoon. I once made edibles that were so strong. I made someone knock out. <laughs> Various people knock out. I was placed in the emergency seat section, and I was like, oh my god, what am I going to do if there's an emergency? Like, I can't help anyone. Literally, for hours, I was freaking out that someone broke into our apartment and just stole a charger. I'm like, tienes, tienes, 20 dolares, uh, is what I have. Uh, and in the end, I just didn't get any weed. So I'm looking at everybody, and I'm like, does everybody know that I'm high? <laughs> I, I was so high that I Googled how long does a, an edible high last for. Anyone with a brain knows that you should like go slow if you don't if you don't have experience with it. I take the first one. I'm letting it rock. I'm like, it's not working. I kid you not. Like 15 minutes after I hit the second one, all oh, hell broke loose. It was like one night I, I had an edible. I was too afraid to get in the car, go on the subway to go home. That I like hung out at Whole Foods till like midnight. <laughs> and we're all standing there, the three of us, like standing in a huddle like this, all looking <laughs> down at the ground. And I go, I'm really not okay right now. Like, are you guys okay? I don't know, there's something about cookies and edibles. I just don't, I just don't recommend cookies. And my one friend goes, everything's moving. And I'm the friend who says, oh shit, let's call the cops. <laughs> they, the cops wouldn't even help in that my, scenario. And my friend like, grabbed me. Uber to the I don't, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the, the bowl was out and Hunter came up and was just like, just, can you just sprinkle? Just sprinkle a little bit more on there. Just, I've like, never packed just, my own bowl ever in sprinkle. my life. I turned to the guy next to me sitting in the aisle seat. I'm like, can I have a switch with you? And then <laughs> he's like, sorry, what? Like an hour or two later, I get a text that was a screenshot of his last Google search, which was, how do I know if I'm greening out? Stop the car! Stop the car! I literally was trying to get the Lyft driver to stop the car. She was freaking out. My driver starts going. I, I don't know where he's going, it feels different, but I'm like, I just live a few blocks away, you can just put me at the corner of this and that and just let me go and I'll be fine. Things start to move around me. I literally felt like I was in a Disneyland teacup on the freeway. He was like, oh sorry, I was taking you to my house. And I was like, yep, don't live there. I'm just, I'm so glad it wasn't like me who called the lift because I need to keep my, my perfect score. <laughs> I would say never wear Hawaiian shirts ever. For the paranoid folk like myself, you just chew on a peppercorn. The issue is, if you're really high, you can't get them out of the little grinder thing. So you just have to like talk yourself through it. No, that's my first time. What? And it's my last time. You've been here before, like you can get through this. Weed is, grows from the ground and it's God's gift to you and it won't hurt you. Don't use that in the video, I sound like a lunatic. <laughs> um,